Hello and welcome back to Let's Try We're Trying and Shrouded. I'm doing more demos. I've been hearing a lot of buzz about this game and I kind of get it, um, but uh, I have thoughts. Uh, so far, my I've played about 20 minutes of this game, maybe not even, but uh, and I suppose it's not fair to, to, to form any kind of opinion based on that amount of time. But uh, I have, you know, uh, arrived at some conclusions and I'm looking to play some more to uh, see if those conclusions are confirmed. But um, so far, this does seem like it uh, wears quite a lot of influences on its sleeve. All right. So um, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to say a few things and a lot of I, I think a few people are going to be annoyed by it. But just hear me out. Um, uh, in my first like 20 minutes of playing this game, I got definitely uh, a few a few influence vibes from it. Um, some of them Soulsian. Um, there is some obvious like survival aspects of this. It is an open world survival game. My uh, expectations or my um, experiences with survival games are mixed to say the least. I generally have a pretty bad um, experience when it comes to survival games. But am I enjoying this one? Yeah, I am so far. Um, for a couple of reasons, the survival aspects of the game are kind of um, toned down. I don't feel like, you know, the game isn't going to be about like bashing trees and, um, you know, farming and, and killing animals and, and watering your, your character. Is there a little bit of that? Sure, there absolutely is. But it isn't going to uh, slow down uh, the quotation marks gameplay for a lot of people eating and feeding uh, eat, feeding and, and watering your character is the gameplay. I understand that. I recognize that. And so therefore, my opinions regarding survival are not going to resonate with a lot of people. People. Um, but for me, the this is an open world RPG first and a survival game second and maybe even a little bit of colony sim second, uh, which is an interesting curveball. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, but for my initial impressions, it felt a little bit Soulsian and a little bit Fable. Like, uh, I'm talking like OG Fable or Fable 2. And I, I was very delighted at this, uh, you know, kind of like reflection. I, I don't know if it has influence in Fable, but it really feels like Fable in some regards. Even down to maybe the look of the characters. Um, I rolled a random character, by the way, in case you ask. But, uh... You know, I, I, it feels like it has just a slight cartoonish fantasy charm to it that, that really does remind me of what I enjoyed about Fable, uh, as well as the kind of open-ended uh, fantasy elements or RPG elements. So um, we have a goal in mind right now, find the sleeping survivor, or what are we going to do? How are we going to do? Oh god, I'm being attacked by a wolf. We're going to be attacked by a wolf, first and foremost. The music comes in um, to let you know that you are in combat, which I do appreciate. Just picking up pictures and stuff for now, and then we're gonna we're gonna see if we can't accomplish. We need a workbench. All right, let's go back to my settlement. We can fast travel there. I didn't actually know that, which is nice. I really hesitate to say it, but I do think that there are that Breath of the Wild uh, influences here. It's kind of hard to avoid um, either that comparison or those influences. I mean, it really did kind of like do a lot to change the open world RPG. Um, in a lot of ways. Let me... So we're gonna... We're gonna make a crafting bench. Construct me a can... Uh, no, where's my crafting bench? Where is it? Workbench. We need string. Okay, string is fine. We can make a couple of string. One, two, three string. Love how snappy and quick uh, crafting is in this game. None of that, like... Oh, you're crafting a thing. Let me take arbitrarily, like, you know, five to ten seconds to do that thing that you would like to, you know, just have done. Um... So I, I appreciate that. Now we are going to craft the construction hammer. Done. And then, uh, yeah, we are... We have the potential to start crafting, like, houses and stuff. And um, uh, this this aspect always kind of gives me a little bit of a queasy feeling. I, I'm, like, I, you know, I enjoy it in some games. And in others, I find, like, it is kind of tacked on. But I, I'm reserving judgment uh, for it in this game. All right, so I'm going to put my hammer in... So can, what can we do here? Tab to enter construction mode. Select the shape you want to build with. Wall, ceiling. How about floor? Where's where's floor? 
Foundation. Okay, I guess what we want is foundation. But we're gonna need some materials. This is uh this is maybe where I check out. Um, you know, that's that's where you're gonna have to start collecting tons of rocks and stuff, and I don't really find that to be incredibly compelling. What can we do with the pickaxe, by the way? I haven't really played with this at all. We're gonna mine. Can we get some materials from that? Yeah, we're getting some stone, we're getting dirt. There is a uh, terrain deformation, which I think is doing a lot to uh, win this game <laughs> win this game over for people. Not to sound cynical or anything, but I, I do think that the terrain deformation is actually really cool. Um, that's really, really interesting. And it's, you know, you don't, you don't see it a lot these days. You know, back, back in the 2000s, uh, the terrain deformation was kind of everywhere. It felt like, it, like you couldn't play a game that didn't have some kind of terrain deformation. So it's, it's nice to see it back again. Um, though the world doesn't really feel procedurally generated and that's a good thing. Um, but let's talk about the world a little bit. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, oh, is that, uh, the we there is weapon durability, by the way. I just want to address that right away. And I don't mind. I don't think that that's actually a terrible thing. Um, we've got a well. So you might notice this, like, mist. It's, yeah, I mean, it looks very pretty. Um, but also, uh, it's, it is like a mechanical thing. There's our water. We can drink ourselves. Um, or, or you know, quench our thirst. So this is the shrouded. I mean, the game's called Enshrouded. So uh, you know, uh, I, I never done see a shroud. Um, and if it was, didn't have some kind of shroud, you know, We've got some baddies. Let's um, dispense with this lad. But yeah, um, the shroud is kind of like mushroom based, and you see the timer in the top that tells me how long I have to uh, linger in said shroud before something bad happens. I don't know what happens because I've never done it and I don't plan on finding out. But it's an interesting concept. I kind of like it. it. It means uh, dungeons and such are going to be a little bit more um, risky. You know, you, you can't just like stick around forever. You, you gotta, you gotta make, you gotta make a plan. You gotta, you know, pick your battles. Maybe you gotta run past some enemies. Maybe you, oh, what's this? This is interesting. Let's pull out our torch. Ow! Oh, you snuck up behind me there, friend. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but you know what? Just as well. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, they gave me bombs right away, and they're like, yeah, you can just, like, blow up the wall. And I was like, heck yeah, dude. That's pretty cool. That's legit. I'm, I'm all about blowing up walls. Search this pile of whatever. And I, I guess, like, you know, I, I, I'm not, um, I'm not, like, I guess I... This is going to be weird saying this, but I, I'm making peace with the survival aspects of this game because I'm going to skip the lore. Sorry. But like, it, you know, it makes sense when, uh, you know, you got to give the player something to look for, uh, you know, a reason to explore dungeons. And, you know, um, it's in a lot of games that involve dungeons, you know, the player expectation is like, I want to find a flaming sword of God and uh, and Satan and like go in and find it. But like in, a, in reality, um, I mean, dungeons are basically another way of saying ruins. And I like that they've embraced the ruinous aspect of of dungeons of like kind of lootable, uh, you know, areas. Um, so when you're going into a quotation marks dungeon, what you're really doing is just looting and you're looting for materials. You're looting for, you know, all kinds of stuff. Um, but you're not going to find your like, you know, magic crown of Zenthar or whatever um, or Zorn. That being said, I mean, it is always nice to find those things. I have to imagine and I hope that the dungeons are going to become uh, da more dangerous and they're going to become riskier and uh, hopefully there will be more, you know, explorable uh, and, and uh, higher yielding dungeons in the future. And I mean, that's that's kind of the promise that this game is making in some in some way. Like, we've got some interesting things on the landscape and I, I, the game looks really nice. I also have to appreciate... Uh, something I've been really appreciating in, in other games is like when they get the kind of I don't know how to put it But like they optimize it so that there's not like horrible pop in there's a little bit here and there It's you know, I see it, but it, it's not it's not noticeable. Notice, you know, it's not like uh, uh, Not to throw it under the bus, but like um, OG OG Subnautica damn it took me a long time to remember the name of that game OG Subnautica had some of, like, I would say the worst pop-in effects of maybe any game ever, but, uh, you know, prove me wrong, prove in the comments, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, I, I appreciate, like, this game feels very grounded, it feels very well optimized, 
um and uh it runs well i mean like they they even make the you know they say that you know the game's it's early it's not finished yet this is a demo this is you know a beta uh you need a grappling hook grappling hook uh okay so we're gonna have to go make a grappling hook but yeah there's stuff to do here and it's not all reliant on like feeding and watering yourself it's not all reliant on building a house that's not the end of the story that's not the goal on uh, the goal is you know it, they're all kind of intertwined together and i appreciate that um i appreciate that you know like this game is is reconsidering how a survival um kind of like city builder i mean it's not a city builder but you know like a col colony sim should look how it should feel like you you are uh, you're a hero but like you're also um trying to uh kind of put up some walls again between you and and the badness in the world and the, and the world does feel a little bit broken and I, I'm appreciating that aspect of it. We're gonna collect some rocks and hopefully in the future, there's gonna be easier ways of collecting resources than this because you know, you know I, uh, I'm not really all about my, oh, did I, I already killed that wolf and I forgot to loot them. I'm, I'm not all about my pre mashing the E button to collect rocks. I guess we could mine and then that would mean that we could like dig into the earth and maybe find some stuff underground. Stuff. I wonder if they've, uh, if they've, made sure that there's stuff underground to discover that's kind of neat so i've mentioned uh dark souls i've mentioned breath of the wild those are going to be the ones that probably upset people the most fable i think is a is a curveball i get some fable in this game i also get some valheim and i think that that's a good thing we can upgrade the altar extend its building range but we need shroud core strengthen it though um strengthen the flame we're going to require resin and all kinds of stuff we don't we don't have that stuff yet so why don't we focus on let's focus on making some blocks we can make a oh that that gives us a hundred blocks okay never mind i was thinking oh five logs to make one block i'm gonna need a ridiculous number of wood but that's not true so let's make a few of those oh we can make a ton of stone um yeah let's uh let's make a ton of stone and um ooh, we can make a cool fireplace uh, i wanted to make some chairs i guess i should have saved some logs for other things we'll make a door can i not make a door i need more logs what do you mean i can make some dishes if i make the dishes i'm just gonna have to clean the dishes we can make an axe that makes sense that's something we would definitely want to have we can make lock picks which is an interesting idea probably we want a bow what do you mean a wand i mean that's kind of legit let's make a wand um my dude my, my character is rather uh bare so maybe i want to make some clothing at some point but i'm gonna do a a, a little montage here and then uh uh let's see what what kind of uh town I, I come up with oh i like that remove building and removing is like instantaneous i really appreciate that like the quality of life okay oh, you do use up a lot of blocks uh, i just realized when you're when you're building so I might want to cool it with the foundation, but I, I want to I want a foundation for a cool house. I can't even see some of this foundation. I'm gonna have to dig into the ground just to see it. Honestly, this part kind of reminds me of Valheim, like the addition of uh, the terrain deformation with an RPG and like some of the combat stuff. I will say I instantly like the combat more in this game than I did in Valheim. I'm sorry, fans of Valheim, but I really could not stand the combat in that game. Oh, we really, we probably really need to sleep. Is there, is there, uh, can we sleep? Maybe I have to, what do you mean loot? I guess I might need to make another fireplace. Okay, I'm going to put our little fireplace down here. I could possibly move it later. We can cook some food. Cooking food in this game, I mean, it, it kind of reminds me of mo roasting marshmallows in uh, outer, outer wilds. It also kind of reminds me of um, Breath of the Wild again. And I, I gotta say, again, um, the, like, the buff aspects of, like, keeping near a, a, a nice home and, like, resting at a campfire, it, it smacks a little bit of Valheim uh, in a good way. I, I liked that aspect of Valheim. So we're rested, and I assume that means we're rested enough that um, we have 10 minutes of some kind of buff. I'm just cooking some mushrooms for the time being. Oh, no, I'm seeing some, some goons off in the distance. Are they gonna come and uh, make me regret my poor choice of home location eat some food seems like eating f whoa that night to day transition was extremely sudden we're watered we're, we're fed um we're not sheltered but that's okay 
Why did it say we were sheltered? Go kill these guys. Uh, they're making me nervous. The combat is, I mean, it's pretty good. Um, there is a shield, but I, I haven't gotten one yet. I'm sure they, there was one sitting by, but they didn't, uh, I didn't find it. And I kind of appreciate that, that like, I didn't just get tutorialized into grabbing a shield. And uh, now I'm, I'm like having to make do without one. Um, so far the combat's pretty simplistic, but uh, in a fun way. Like, and again, it kind of it gives me them fable vibes a little bit. I wonder if we can salvage uh, items in the future. Like maybe, maybe you, like I, I have this rusty short sword, um, but like I'm using this other one that has more durability. Can I like salvage this for parts later? I'm just gonna chop some trees. I mean, this is, uh, you know, I, I did talk about how I'm not a huge fan of this, but let's, oh, uh, this is, that was pretty snappy. I like how quick that was actually. You know, they're, uh, they're doing a good job to make sure that you're not like dwelling on like these kind of aspects. You're not going to have to spend a lot of time cutting down trees. It's super quick. I love how quick that is. Uh, uh well, uh, that, that was an animation for a tree falling down. I, 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 you know, it doesn't, you know, uh, ooh. And we're just, I'm going to chop down like a couple more trees. I want to find, uh, I want to get some more stone and I want to make a house like proper. We do have uh, sheep in this game. I wonder if uh, animal husbandry is on the table. Apparently mushrooms increase our magic damage bonus. Oh, we didn't try our wand. Can I try my wand? Let's try our wand. Magic attack. Hmm. So that is a very feeble little range attack, but I mean, it's still a range attack. Just got to cut back some of this dirt and then uh, maybe we can we can actually build some kind of house and we can just like sit by this uh campfire i think that does actually increase our stamina by a lot like i, I noticed it refilled almost instantly there versus like when i'm standing in one spot it, it refills quite slowly so there's like reasons to kind of you know sit and chill and rest for a bit okay we've gotten a, a bit more stone so let's go ahead and make some more stone blocks craft 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 uh, I'll make them a couple more wood blocks as well, and then we'll get into build mode. Okay, plunk, plunk. Place is looking pretty good. wonder why that block there didn't complete. I guess this is more like, it's not really a big block. It's actually more of a, um, a brush. Because, like, I could build it like this, and then I have, like, a little corner there. Um, similarly, like, there's a smaller brush. Or, you know, like, I can, I can go uh, up, up, up to this small one here, and then I can, like make little squares. So that's kind of nice. It offers a bit more flexibility instead of having like the, you know, very rigid, uh, you need to have like a square foundation and, and build your house on top of it kind of thing. Like you have a bit more flexibility than that. Like I was just kind of dreading the fact that um, my house was gonna be this big square, but it might not have to be a big square. It could be a little bit smaller than that. Okay, uh, I kind of want to fast forward a little bit. I'm, I don't want to spend too much time building a house, so let's let's see if we can't make something with our very limited space here. Maybe just like a workshop. I'll do, you know, something closer to my uh, my vintage story playthrough. You know, I guess there's nothing saying I couldn't build a house around some of this stuff, and then I don't have to place it back inside. I think for now, I just kind of want to have like an open floor plan kind of thing with this like one accent wall with the window. I kind of like that. And we need more tree, uh, some more wood. So let's, oh, maybe, maybe I, I actually can make some more blocks. I already have some on standby. Yeah, we do. Okay, so now I want some roofage. Let's see how this works. Okay, something like that and like that. That's looking pretty good so far. I need more fiber. I need more fiber. Okay, grab some more fiber blocks. Um, running out of materials rapidly and we, we're not gonna have enough. So I'm gonna have to go collect some fiber stuff. Yeah, if we just like grab these plants, then that'll give us the fiber we need to finish our roof. I really do, I'm really appreciating the environmentals in this game. Something about it, it's just like, it's layered. It's layered and it, it feels complex and the environment meshes well with the ruins. They've done a really good job uh, with this game, making it feel like it's, it's uh, kind of grown over um uh, i love these like shroud th these shrouds kind of look like a bubble almost but it's not like cartoonishly a bubble it's like you know you can tell very easily where the shroud begins and ends um but it's it's really cool the way that looks i wonder if the wolves uh will attack the local wildlife i just found a dead rabbit um i wonder if it's kind of like vintage story where like you know there's almost like an ecosystem of the way things work the way animals kind of hunt each other and coexist or don't together just gonna dig some stone 
I want to get some more bombs. Those were really fun. Also, I'm appreciating how much uh, bang for your buck with the uh, income, income, the durability you get. Like you can see how how much digging you get with your your pickaxe before you know it's gonna break. I wonder if I can like break down this like wall and then get wall parts. I don't think so. It, it doesn't look like it's letting me. Also, I should really heal myself, huh? Okay, healing happens over time and is not an instant heal. Okay, let's make some more fiber blocks and finish this roof. I am really appreciating how it works like a brush. So, you know, like if there's a little part here, it's like, oh, I don't need to like go and get a different part. I can just kind of paint over it and things will just like, you know, uh, mesh together in a really satisfying way. Now, the question is, do I want to make, uh, have a flat top roof or do I want to have a pointed roof? Oh, this is a really nice thing. I, I wish this that this had been in, uh, in Valheim, but you can just like, you know, move back and forth like building things is is really well done in this uh i don't think i wanted to build that there like that wanted it like that and i'm still gonna need some more fiber uh, br maybe i should have picked a less less ambitious roof it's just exactly like my valheim or not um my vintage story playthrough all right let's uh we're just getting some more plant fiber i wonder if plants grow back these questions and more i like this little overhang here let's destroy it Really am appreciating like how even the rock is like chipped away looks actually very natural. Maybe actually a little too natural. I wonder if uh, it wouldn't be worth having like a replaced texture for like when you where you're where you've uh, kind of dug away with a pickaxe to like, you know, have a better indication of how you've, you know, made your mark in the world, how you've changed things. OK, we must be getting pretty close. I don't remember this plant being here, so plants may be growing back. Plant, 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 plant. Okay, let's finish this here roof guy. Put that there. I'm hearing some kind of shimmering. Wonder if there's something cool nearby. Um, oh, you know what? I think we need a smaller roof. Yeah, cause then we can do that. And then that, and there we go. Well, that's not what we want. I'm gonna have to jump to make the last, make the, um, it won't actually let me, it won't let me, uh, put in the last the finishing touch oh that's kind of a shame i can't do it while jumping all right we're gonna have to build like a, a, a scaffold okay let's uh put this like there and then we can jump on top of that and now we should be able to finish the roof there we go and there we go okay roof is done it looks good i like it get rid of that and now we have like a legit place of comfort i don't like this window i kind of wish i i could make a bigger window we gotta like put that there and then put that there and that doesn't seem to work you can't just like have two windows next to each other i want like a big window we can't have a door frame i want a bigger window <laughs> oh we can place terrain oh that's interesting well okay I, I think that the i think that the windows are a little bit disappointing so i'm just gonna go ahead oh oh okay that's an option i i completely found that out by accident so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a, a wall here and then we're gonna punch a bigger, I want a bigger window. So we're gonna punch like, okay, this is kind of janky, but it does work. And then we're just gonna like cut a little hole here like that. And you can have floating blocks in this game. I always kind of wish that some of these games would like not allow floating blocks because it does break my immersion slightly, but uh, that's fine. This looks pretty good. I think it looks better than the, the little window it was offering us before. So we have that like one accent window wall and then we have like mostly an open floor plan. I like that. It looks is looking pretty good. So like our actual thing that we should be doing next is um, looking at making a grappling hook. What does that cost us? Metal scraps, string and shroud spores. So we're going to have to go and kill some stuff. That That is for sure. And um, we're going to have to oh, we're cold. Maybe we should hang out inside. I don't know. We're going to have to find some metal. I don't know if metal is just kind of hanging out in, in rocks and stuff and we can like dig it out or if we should just like go down into that into that shrouded area and do some exploration. I don't think I've been in the shrouded area at night. I wonder if it's any different. Ooh, that was kind of neat. A thingy from me kind of lit that fire um, but automatically. We can gra grab some wood logs. We don't actually have to like go and chop down wood we can probably find wood like in ruined areas should probably pull out my torch so i can see better let's go into this really spooky mist see if we can't find some uh some metal metal scraps is this like a cave kind of hard to see occasionally the shroud really is like shroudy 
I'm gonna try digging this. I want I wonder if it gives me anything. Mycelium. So this isn't just like some arbitrary terrain. It's actually like a resource that we can collect. Why would we want mycelium? That's interesting. I love the way that it breaks away is actually really nasty. <laughs> I kind of love it. It did say I unlocked the recipe for um, mycelium blocks. So if I want, I could make a mushroom house. Firefly. Okay, we're collecting fireflies. I wonder if there's potion making in this game. I actually really like the lighting in this game. Kind of reminds me of uh, the trailer for Dark Souls 2 a bit. Remember, remember that when we all thought that Dark Souls was going to have dynamic lighting? Okay, uh, the transition to day daytime being like instantaneous is is actually kind of funny. All right, I want to I want to navigate around this crag without dying here. Let's see. Oh God. Oh, and then he immediately failed. I want to get up there, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be a good way of doing that. Oh no. Have I like, okay, no, we're, we're okay. Well, maybe we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> Can I get up here? I wonder I'm, I'm going to like jank my way up because I don't have a grappling hook yet. Maybe I can just like go and climb that thing. No, there's no ladder. Can I, can I get some scraps? What is this? Wood logs. Okay. I mean, that's nice and all, but I do need some metal scraps. Can I climb over here? Oh, this looks, no, there is no climbing in this game. So I guess uh, I can't accuse it of being a breath of the wild, uh, you know, influence game confirmed, not breath of the wild, no climbing. Did I go down here? This seems, oh yeah, I definitely blew a hole in that in that ground. Well, maybe I should try exploring in a different area. Cause, uh, you know, I'm like very much hanging out in the same areas and I'm not finding what I need. So let's go somewhere new. I'm going to try my magic wand, uh, to kill some local wildlife. Oh, well, they are defending themselves somehow. You can get, you can be pretty quick with the wand. Although its accuracy seems, uh, limited. I did level up. I don't think I ever built anything. I didn't like increase my character. Oh, here we go. Skills. Ooh, that's quite the skill tree. Okay. Sneak attack, uh, pass, merciless attack. Perform a merciless attack by pressing E to deal massive damage to an enemy you're, oh, you've overpowered. Fill their stun bar. Okay, so we've got stagger. All tools lose durability slower. Okay, I kind of uh, like that that's a feature. Power parry. All equipped with a shield press. Okay, well, we don't have a shield. Pickaxe deals 30% more damage against objects. You only need three instead of six seconds to revive an ally. Oh yeah, this game's gonna have multiplayer, which is kind of interesting. Backstab damage. Not really super invested in any of these, to be honest. Why can't I get this one? Out of reach. Future content, okay. Can I get this attribute point? Yeah, I can, okay. Does that mean I already have all of these? So my strength was increased by two. We could just make a shield. I suppose that was an option. I could also make a staff. <laughs> Time to make some, some uh, rags. Like the bare minimum of clothing, I think. All right, let's see. Okay, yeah, that's like definitely a downgrade in many ways. We've got these weird mushroom things. They, okay, we can collect them. They looked like the kind of thing that would explode dealing poison damage. Okay, there we go. Here's a lad. Uh, magic seems to be kind of really nice. You don't even have to get near them. Although it doesn't do very much damage. That's okay. We don't need it to. That's the rest of the spores we need. Now we just need the rest of the metal. Wonder what, if we would get anything for digging this stuff. No, just dirt. I mean, I guess technically we got something, but it was dirt. <laughs> oh God, that's spooky. There's two of them. Okay, fighting on the stairs is a little bit jank. I won't lie. Still, I've seen worse. Can we have like things in both of our hands doesn't seem like it so i can't like hold a torch in one. Oh god okay i guess i called that one Jeez. okay we've got like some actual dungeoning happening now can i break down this door yeah we can Ooh. uh i did lose my torch metal oh a hatchet i mean that's nice too wouldn't mind uh, uh <laughs> some metal though uh i'd like to make a new torch all right still looking for some metal all right still no metal Still searching for the metal. We're almost out of uh, shrouded time, so I better bail out of there. Okay, let's have a, you know, I'm following my waypoint. I put a waypoint over here, over here. It seemed like there was stuff over here. What is this? Shoot down beehives from trees to retrieve honey and wax. Be careful, the hives are usually protected by swarms. We got some honey. Oh, I see, I can I can knock down that one, but then I'd get attacked by bee. More lore. War. War never changes. That's, that's that. Okay, what do we got here? Is this a, ooh, that's some, that's quite the quite IK we've got going on there. Um, feel like we cannot get down from here. That is just basically a sheer cliff. 
Yo, where the heck are we gonna get some metal though? So, I wonder if I really just need to be mining. I am just gonna assume that there is fall damage and fall death if I if I was to jump off that cliff. So I'm not gonna try it. Maybe I should go back the way I came. Maybe I missed something. We got some runes which we can apparently use to uh, enhance our, our weapons. How we do that, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, we could have made a rake that would have made uh, maybe digging away at the ground a little bit easier. I'm gonna make a chest. Oh, and that's funny. There's actually a scaffold. You can you can build like legit scaffold. I'm gonna throw that there, and then we can dump some stuff off. Maybe I do wonder uh, how this is gonna work because like um, you know, are we gonna be able to quick stack? Uh, that's like I feel kind of a necessary quality of life. Are we gonna be able to you know build from materials in this chest if we are? you know, in the area, stuff like that, um, I think is like really helpful, uh, makes, makes a game like this a lot easier to play with. In fact, let's do an experiment. Let's see if I can't build with the blocks I just put away. And it looks like, no, it doesn't pull from the chest nearby. It would be nice if that was a feature. Um, but you know, it's the game's not like finished yet. So, uh, I can understand that being something they add later. Why don't we try fast traveling traveling to this altar here? It might be that we missed something there. We are better equipped now. We've got like a, a legit hatchet. This was like the tutorial area of the game, but it, you know, wouldn't surprise me if I missed something. This place looks really nice. Can I like, no, I can't smack these things. There's metal all over the place and I can't get any of it. All right, well, let's leave this temple. The temple, there's really not a lot going on in there and see if we can't find something. Oh, we found some more lore new lore page well oh what's this fast world awaits you filled with secrets and peril okay yeah i mean that's that's tutorialism right there and then it leads me into this mine and there's a free torch for us which is nice because i could definitely use another one maybe there's some uh, i mean this is a mine here clearly maybe there's some materials we can find down here Ooh, that looks like a secret there you go confirm secrets except none of that is what i wanted all right Use terraforming tool or explosives to... Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, nice that they respawn these bombs. Those are really helpful. Um, so I'll show these off. So yeah, this is the first example of the of, of ter ter um, terrain deformation that they showed me. It's like, here's a bomb. Now use it. And you just like explode some stuff. And uh, yeah, that's a really good uh, intro to your, to your system. I really appreciate that. Oh, I got another rusty sword. I didn't spend, admittedly did not spend a lot of time in here, mostly because I thought it was pretty creepy, but also because I was like, oh, I just want to see, you know, what the game is. Flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. Just the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Yep. And the enemies also respawn here. All right, here we go. Wow, I do a lot more damage now, I think. Let's see how much the hatchet does. Uh, it doesn't quite one hit them still not finding any metal i'm sure that it's like somewhere really obvious i'm just gonna honestly i just I, I feel like i should just start digging and hopefully i'll find it eventually hmm some stuff here that maybe i didn't do no there's really not a lot going on around here this to me felt like almost a deliberate reference maybe i'm just like reading too much into things but uh, uh did a bit wooden arrows they never did, did give me a bow i guess they um expected me to make one which i really could have but i didn't oh we have a glider we need shroud wood for the glider uh, i'm getting pretty close to that still don't have the metal scrap so i kind of wish that like when i hover over this it would tell me where i can get that i'm wondering if i'm supposed to like knock down that barrel there it is very much marked like a thing that i should should be interacting with oh there's lots of goons here now that's okay we like goons oh these guys are leveled up ow I wish there was a, I don't know if there's an easy way to like retarget, like change my target, but it seems a little bit awkward right now. Oh, it's F. Okay, it's F. All right. <laughs> Answered my own question. Got some runes, got some more stuff. Haven't died yet, which is nice. Ooh, oh, that's a shield. I mean, okay, you know, it's a shield. Nice. <laughs> okay, we can finally like shield like a proper person now. Okay, I'm going to make a bow. I'm gonna see if maybe I can knock that barrel down. I'm wondering if that's what I'm supposed to do. It looks more like a grappling hook thing to me than, than a thing I'm supposed to knock down. I'm, I'm shooting the thing. Can I shoot the, the string? No, that's definitely like a, a grappling hook thing instead of uh, anything else. But we have a bow now, so that's cool. All right, we can, we can kill some animals with this thing. The uh, arrows are greatly affected by gravity, but this works pretty well, I gotta say. 
I am very bad at it though, as I was in Valheim. I think it is easier than in Valheim though. Grab some raw lean meat. Oh, we can sleep. Oh, there we go. At least we can like, maybe it'll pass, you know, the nighttime. Doesn't seem to though. Uh, kind of weird that we can do this when it doesn't actually serve much mechanical purpose. I know maybe, maybe I'm uh, wrong for saying or thinking that, you know, not everything has to serve a mechanical purpose, but usually sleeping in these games does pass the day, the, the time. Is that something we can interact with? Oh, this looks like a path down. I actually completely missed this. Oh, that day to, night to day uh, transition is still very sudden to me. To me. Okay, I feel like this is where we're. We, uh, I've been meaning to go, or I've, you know, so, was supposed to go this whole time, so we can get some, uh, some metal. But this is going to be a much bigger shrouded area than the one I've explored before, with potentially new dangers. Now this guy's level one. This hourglass capsule replenishes your remaining time. Okay. But I assume once you've used it, it's gone. So it was kind of a waste. Well, at least this is new. I haven't seen any of this yet. Didn't seem all that dangerous, to be honest. Balin Bridge. Okay, we're at Balin Bridge. I love the, like, kind of fungus theme. Oh, that guy's having some IK problems. Oh, I see. I've, oh, I overpowered them. I When they get the little swirlies around their head, that means that I, uh, I broke their stagger. I'm going to take things like shields and stuff, even if it doesn't really do anything. Well, we should delete something, probably this extra torch, because I don't want to miss anything important. All right, this looks like something promising. Uh, or not? Not? This looks dangerous. Rockmore. Oh, we got new wolves. New wolf type. I wonder if there's some gobos here. Oh, yeah. Something. That looks like something. Something. Oh, guys that actually fight back. Oh, oh a lot of guys that actually fight back. Ow, ow. Oh, there's a counter system. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Trying to heal up. I'm trying to heal up. Come on, hit me, hit me. There we go. I honestly didn't hold out a lot of hope that I was going to be able to take these guys, but this is looking promising. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, you really spooked me there. So now I got to fight a mushroom lad as well. Not super enthused about that. Oh, God, please heal up, heal up. Oh, I died. <sighs> okay, okay. I was doing really well there. Oh, is this my last bonfire or whatever you want to call it? Oh, this is so long ago. How much of my stuff do I drop? I wonder a lot. You drop like all of the stuff that you collected, basically. At least you don't drop your equipment. I, I, I'm grateful for that. I truly have like no tolerance for that. So I, I am grateful that you don't drop like all of your equipment and then you have to go and venture out and try and get it again. And you end up in this weird loop where you're like constantly dying and going back and getting your stuff and dying again. It's rough. Do not, I do not care for that. We do have a death icon on our compass, which is nice. I always appreciate that. So I will head back and uh, give it another go. I was doing really well there. Um, and actually the parry system in this game is one of the nicer that I've seen. Uh, I usually really struggle with parry systems including in Dark Souls or even uh, Sekiro. Um, not my favorite mechanic that gets added to a lot of games, but it's, it's pretty forgiving in this one, I have to say. Okay, I've eaten a bunch of food, so I have a, diff a bunch of different buffs active right now. I'm going to go and collect my stuff. Hopefully I can do so in relative peace. Yeah, there's our stuff. Take all. That was easy. I appreciate that. Can we collect? Oh, this is the, the one fungal dude. I was hoping to collect from the corpse of the one dude I managed to kill. All right, let's try this again. And this time I'm gonna try it with some magic. Wish I didn't, they didn't all, you know, come to arms. Ooh, I really tried to block there, there. All right, okay, that worked out. Oh yes, I overpowered him. And now we just go to town and we parried. Parry is maybe too forgiving. I could definitely see that being nerfed in the future. Metal scraps, there we go. We got some metal scraps. We got some more metal scraps. This is, that's fantastic. Okay, so we should be able to make a grappling hook now, but you know, uh, now that I'm here, I may as well push my luck a little bit. Where is everyone? I know there is more people. Oh, there, ow! What the heck are you, bud? You're a ranged dude. I don't care for that at all. But, you know, I'm, I'm right in front of you. You can't really do much to me now. Oh no! There's another lad up there. Wonder if I can like break this down and then he knocked down. That'd be really funny. Wonder if I have to like, I don't know. Can we, can we like throw a, a exploding powder thing? That didn't work at all. Well, I'll throw it up there, ineffective. Okay, that was effective. I killed that guy dead in one hit. I just had to actually hit him. 
I got some grilled meat. We're gonna go ahead and eat that. I wonder how I get up there. Oh, I, I think I see a ladder. No, there's no ladder. How did how does that guy get up there? Ow. Oh, fortunately, we're only f having to fight one of these guys at a time. Oh, I just had to open my goddamn mouth, didn't I? All right, over hit him with the parry and then overpower him. All right, he's overpowered. Knock him silly. Knock him dead. All right, get in the hang of this. It's, it's a lot easier when you don't have to fight like four of them at once. Ooh, what is that? An elixir. Heck yeah, bud. Ooh, those look like explosive barrels. And that looks like a trap. Ah! Mmm, okay, that's a little, that's a little funny. Don't activate the trap while you're standing on it, by the way. Oh, I wonder if you can, like, oh, you can, like, just climb through there. Do we have some more metal scraps in here? Yes, we do, and some lock picks, which I cannot pick up. I'm just gonna leave them there for now. This place is taking a toll on my health, but I have increased maximum health because I ate some good food. Get some more lore. I love lore. I love picking up and not reading lore. Got some shroud survival flask and more explosive barrels. What does this do? Extends the remaining time in the shroud after consumption by two minutes. That's kind of nice. I would like to have that. I think that's just about it for this area. I'm sure there's more, but the question is, do I really want to push my luck that much? The answer is yes. yes I do. I do. I'm enjoying exploration in this game. Ooh, that looks like something. Oh God, you snuck up on me there, bud. Yeah, the parry, the parry is like really forgiving. But also these guys telegraph themselves really like obviously our uh hatchet there finally broke i'm gonna miss it oh we need a lock pick for the pick that really serves me right for not picking up that lock pick i wonder if i could go and find that i forgot to loot this guy over here i didn't find a ladder up there but i can just kind of like platform over here and he had scrap arrows which i'm sure are better than what i'm carrying but it would also require me to drop some stuff which i really don't want to wanna... <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff i i have to get rid of right now I'm carrying way too much stuff. I guess we could... Okay, I wonder if I can repair this. Oh, we can salvage. Okay, what is it? What did that give us, though? Oh, we get runes. I'm not sure why we would want runes, but we do get runes. Okay, well, now that we've freed up a little bit of space, we can take all this stuff. We got some ice bolts. I'm assuming that's for magic. So these are... We can equip these arrows. They, they do way more than our normal arrows, and these do slightly less than those so let's use our like flint arrows first i guess really should try and use our bow a bit more often i can't find the lock pick unfortunately so i guess i'm not going to be able to open up i guess you know one thing i could do is um i could just craft some lock picks maybe i really want to blow up that explosive barrel there can we do this yes we can and it did kind of nothing all right, well, let's equip our explosive thingies and um, break this open. A little bit disappointing there, I gotta say. This is a really nice house. Almost like, almost, you know, fully, uh, it's almost well-maintained. What is this stuff? Is this metal? This looks suspiciously like a, an ore vein. Backpack full. Okay, so that means we're getting something that we can't pick up right now. And I really still have like far too much stuff in our inventory. So we're gonna have to salvage some more stuff. Let's uh, dig away at this. What do we get? Stone, stone, flint stone, stone shingle block. Okay, so we get flint from this. Is that what this is? It looked more like copper to me. Okay, um, that's a little disappointing, but I guess we're not, you know, we're not there yet. Oh, this requires a lock pick? No, sir. Uh, we, we blow up this. Blow that up. Well, I mean, that is a very effective door, I have to say. <laughs> or, uh, not very effective, depending on, you know, your, your perspective. Ooh, more lore. And lock picks. All right, we got a lock pick. That means we can go and check out that chest. I kind of think we should just, uh, equip these scrap, uh, scrap arrows and then drop these flint arrows because i'm gonna be able to make flint arrows later and i oh okay that's just a campfire all right we don't need a campfire all right what do we got up in the attic anything good remember i would the game was uh asking me to use up a, a lock pick up here so if there isn't something cool then it's it seems kind of a blow oh hey uh, we got our hatchet back i'm happy about that that was that would definitely be worth it we can like climb oh okay we can make so this is what shingle roof looks like you know that we got the recipe once we picked up the flint and this looks like uh okay that's a trough never mind all right let's go this looks like mm, okay never mind that's nothing let's uh let's go lock pick this chest i wonder if there's a lock picking mini game nope at least nope <laughs> still no 
All right, um, there is a quest over here that I somehow walked right past and didn't interact with. Or maybe that quest is over there. It does seem like it's pointing more in the, that general direction. Hmm, looks like it can go this way, actually. And that leads to this quest marker. Uh, this is a little spooky. I feel like it's above me. I don't think we can get around the fact that it is, in fact, above me. Ooh, a new enemy type. Enemy bug. Shroud bug. Shroud bug ain't nothing. Shroud bug is, is very little to me. We got some critter parts. Oh god, okay. Um, so they have nests and you need to break those nests or else they will spawn more. Oh, oh god! I didn't mean to, I, I kind of fat fingered the entire toolbar. All right, let's stagger this guy, maybe. Ow, ow, that guy hits hard. And I didn't get to shield like at all. Oh, that's a long way I'm gonna have to go to get that my stuff back. I really should have just uh, fast traveled back while I had the chance. Oh, I had health potions apparently on me that I could have used. All right, this is gonna be a long trek, so I'll save you the, the time. All right, there's our goodies. Just need to get in, grab our stuff, and leave. We don't need to be starting no fights we can't finish. All right, grabbed it. We're gone. As much as I would love to check out this place, the fact that we can drop our equipment means I must leave. What is this? Well, I mean, I guess that's the point of interest there. Let's go home. All right, we should finally have enough to uh, stuff to make ourselves a uh, grappling hook. So let's go ahead and make that. No slot available. Oh, right. Okay, we're going to have to drop some stuff off. Grappling hook. We made it. All right, we need we need shroud wood, but I don't think I'm going to get that for quite a while. It might not even be available in the uh in this demo. But we got the we got the part that matters. Let's equip it. All right, let's uh let's let's use this thing. Um we have an obvious couple of places we can go. Um, I should check out the bridge now that I can actually cross it because that was what was holding us back. I don't know if that was ever obvious, by the way, why I wasn't checking out that big foreboding uh, fortress over there. We could check that out. I'll probably die, um, but we'll find out. We'll see. All right. How does one make use of the grappling hook? E, wee, that's a lot of fun. I like that. I mean, honestly, even this bridge is kind of giving me some Dark Souls vibes. Man who has only played one video game. This game is really giving me some boss baby vibes. You can swing across some chasms using the grappling hook. Be on the lookout for these places. Wee! Oh, and it's like physics-y too. I love that. I definitely spotted a baddie on this on the other side here. Yeah, there they are. Wow, you really did uh, hit me before you died there. How come we have no health? I guess I really need to um, eat some more wolf meat. The extra, the extra maximum um, health from wolf meat was like borderline necessary. All right, this place is, is looking pretty intimidating. Ooh, I like this terrain. Bushes can conceal you. When you're within them, press C to crouch and hide. Use them to sneak up on enemies. Okay, the bushes kind of end. Well, that's not much of a back animation. I was, I was kind of thinking that there was going to be a backstab. Let's just, we, we can kill these guys. These guys are no problem for us now. And we get some more good stuff. Ooh, more lore. Skip. We got anything cool up here? I'm liking this. Uh, these ruins look a lot more um, robust. Eureka. Lore. More explosive thingies. I love explosive thingies. Okay, so this is our quest marker. I'm wondering... Uh, I, I wonder if there's going to be a boss in here. Ancient Vault Blacksmith. Oh. Oh, okay. You're just a, a goon. We, we kill goons here. But that uh, thing at the end there definitely looks like something interesting. Ooh, you have got some provisional scythes. We take those. <gasps> Ooh, more lore. Uh, okay, so what do we got here? Awakened Survivor. Oswald Anders, the blacksmith. <laughs> okay, recipe unlocked the summoning staff. Nails seven, plus 17 at blacksmith. New location charted, one marker added. Quest updated, find the sleeping survivor. Uh, okay, so where do we have to go now? This is the ancient vault. Do we have to go back home? It's a really pretty game, I gotta say. Craft people. Okay, so we do we do have a new crafty person. And I have to assume that they are back home? Mm, oh, okay, what is that? Commune with the fire, the flame. This survival will be a worthy addition to our cause. Place them into the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft from the simple twigs. Getting pretty close to being able to strengthen our flame. Okay, so we need to make a summoning staff. So this is going to work, I assume, kind of like uh, 
the construction hammer, but um, now we get to place people in the world. Place character. Oswald. <laughs> We're just going to place Oswald. There you go. Oswald is placed. Hello, Oswald. Talk and craft. Sheltered comfort level five. Crafting first gear. Took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny. And they call you Flameborn? First thing you need is a weapon. Lucky you woke me up. Crafting a scrappy sword or spiked club will serve us well. Okay, so he's going to let us craft advanced things like a charcoal kiln. We'll probably need that. Tool to create various coal-related items. We'll probably need coal. He will make uh, allow us to make scrappy sword, but we're going to need nails, uh, which we will get from metal scraps. And so we have a completely new kind of tech tree um, gated behind uh, rescuing NPCs in the world. Cool. I appreciate that. That's uh, that's cool. It's, it gives you a reason to go and explore. Um, you know, it's it's a good reward. I was expecting maybe um, some kind of boss or something, uh, but, uh, it, you know, I don't need that necessarily. All upgradable items from your backpack and action bar are listed here. Okay, so we can enhance the... Oh, enhancing takes runes. Okay, so runes are, are kind of like our souls, but like... Since durability is a thing, uh, I'm wondering if we can repair things. But we could like enhance our, our hatchet. So it has cutting damage plus three now. We can only enhance it once though. It seems like every weapon has its own kind of enhancement. So this rusty sword has plus two poison damage and then another plus two poison damage. Um, yeah, interesting. I like where this is going. Um, it takes uh, some of my favorite parts of Valheim uh, and some, you know, does not some of my least favorite parts. And uh, it takes, uh, you know, what I enjoy about open world games and not what I don't enjoy about open world games. It's compelling and, and it's fun. I, I like that it, I, like, I have to assume it's not procedurally generated. Um, it doesn't feel procedurally generated. It feels crafted. Uh, but at the same time, the fact that you have like, agency over like the world the way it's shaped you can you can ma make your mark in it. it feels good it feels like almost like a, a breath of the wild with a hearth pyre mod you know but um the combat is is pretty good it's like i, I i'm liking it i'm liking a lot of the stuff here um so i mean yeah we can make charcoal we've got a lot of new things to seek out and we can level ourselves up a bit um probably continue going on strength although maybe i would want something else but yeah i like this um and shredded have you played it well, let me know in the comments uh link will be in the description if you want to try it out yourself although i think the demo will be uh it'll be taken down on october 22nd so if this video gets posted out after that then i'm sorry you missed your window and uh i wish i could have let you know sooner <laughs> but uh, i'll be keeping an eye out um uh, for this game when it comes out on release if you liked this video, uh, maybe consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.